Hey everybody, welcome to Rider Skills. I'm Neil. This is the channel for motorbike safety advice and riding tips. Okay, just been to look at a Triumph. Turns out, as I suspected, it's on consignment. They're selling it for a geezer. It's only done 9,000 kilometres. It's a 2009, so it's done a thousand kilometres a year since new. Almost, about. And it's a 765, it's on no, this isn't, I wish it was. It's a 675R. The grey and gold, beautiful thing it is. Very good condition. It's got me thinking. Do I go and get myself something unfaired? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Right, anyway, let's get concentrated. Let's get dialed in. Let's move out and give him some space. It's not something that's done often here. What I like to do is educate other drivers on how we should be doing it. They don't do that here, they'll just squash you. You're coming up a slip road. Watch these cars to the left here. Stay there, stay there. Watch his wheels. So as you, come, you see cars coming up a slip road and you're in the left hand lane as you, and they're coming up to your left. If you've got opportunity, move out. They don't do it here, it's crackers. Anyway, get, let's get to it. So what's my danger? Very little I've got. I've got my mate Cliff on his BWee 100 behind me. He's off to work. We've just been looking at this motorbike. He's going off here. Give him a wave, off he goes. Slow down, let's see what he's riding. <laughs> Comedy gold, yes, do it! <laughs> Quality. He's going up to the city, he's got a shift to do this afternoon. And here we are, Gallipoli underpass under the Anzac Highway. There is a theme there, the war heroes. Temperature's just dropped. The sun's gone behind that cloud. Here's an example. Of a, when you've got roads like this, I will make sure there's nothing coming up these slip roads. And if there is, give them some space. You can move out. So what's my danger? I've got a fair bit of traffic up front. Just easy back. That truck's come out in front of me. Blocking my view a little bit. Car to my left. Just watching these guys pulling out. Another one there. I'm going to move out to this lane so I've got a better view. And here we are. Can I, can I sneak down the middle there? I can. Do I bother? Yes, I do. A little lane splitting. It's how, it, it's how it rolls here. So it's gear back brake only, nice and smooth. No silly diving on the front forks. Might have a racer here on the right. Really. Standing traffic, what's my danger? Me slowing, early break there just to warn them, they've all slowed down, I'm just going to sneak across here, pick the shortest route, watch for people changing lanes, shopping trolleys, that's what it is, you wouldn't go to the longest queue at the supermarket, so why would you do it in, in traffic, you've got to watch for other people with the same idea coming across you so it's a, just a case of leaving a good gap bimbling through like this and watching for people coming across your front he was my danger point coming the other way then to make, try to find a gap to cross in front of you again I've got a commercial vehicle in front so I can't see beyond him very well he's had the door shut on him at the front with that you going across him Right, nice safe gap between. He's moving over again, now I'm going to have a good view of the road. Good views around myself, make sure nobody's changing the mind here, equalising that spot there. You just E to the left of that lane and good, good view, good view of the road. Watching for this guy changing lanes here on my left. 
Minnie's blind spot slightly, so I'm going to do is just ease up, make sure she can see me. Watch, look at this guy here. See, this that's an exact example. Look at that, his number plane is exact five. Wow, amazing. That was an exact example of what, what I was talking about just previous about cars coming across your front. It's what you've got to look for. And you've got to look at what you've got to imagine what they can see. He was just an impatient prick, but you've got to consider what other people can see of you. I'm going to split the lane in here a little bit. There's a bit of a space down the middle here. And it's it's an opportunity to just do a little bit of slow riding. What I'm doing there, I'm just keeping my throttle in the same place. My clutch is doing all the work there, just nice and easy. And at that point now, I'll just drop in front of that truck. And I can change lanes again in a minute, but I'm, not, I'm just going to bimble through. I've got my space, I'm happy. I'm making progress. And now we'll change lanes. Nice, we, nice check of the mirrors. And now we're going to the flow of the traffic. I'm a bit close to this ute, so I'll drop back again. Okay. Leave a good space. I've got, I'm not in her blind spot now. I can see her face and she can see me in that mirror. But I can ease up again now. Nice and smooth on the gears and the clutch. Car to my left coming out. Just watch he doesn't pull out on me now to the outside lane. He's safe. We're through. I've got green traffic lights. I've got flowing traffic 400 metres ahead. Likely held. That's going to change to red on me. So I'm leaving a gap. And I'm also just controlling what's happening behind me. Just slowing down slightly. And I'm not touching my brakes yet. But I don't need to. Sometimes I'm looking at the distance and thinking if he's close. I'm just going to back him up by braking him a little bit. Flashing my brake lights. But I don't need to. We're good here. Nice and steady. Watching the car on the left. Busy road. But we're bimbling. I've got good control. I look at that car. I've got that Ford Touristry white turning left. So I've got to be careful that, that this car doesn't try to go around him. He stayed where he is. We're good to keep moving forward now. He's seen me with his window down. He can hear me as well because he's got his window open. This uh, red Monaro, potential for interchange lanes as well. He seems pretty content where he is, but we'll see. Watch the bus. Equalise that space just a little bit for safety. At this point, I'm going to move across. I've got plenty of space. I'll show you why in a minute. A bit of local knowledge. The left, left lane also goes straight on. Now I've got to watch this Monaro, I don't want the same lane. He's gone deliberately to the middle. That's good. So I'm just going to keep to the speed limit. And watch this truck don't come across me. I'm going to give him the space. I don't need to... It forms two lanes, so I'm going to hold my position here. Got the truck on my left. Back off. He's edging, plenty of mirrors, plenty of observation, brake lights, can't really see why they're braking so I'm backing off, it's just volume of traffic. Now, at this point I'm getting cut up by this guy because he's obviously going to come off left, he could have gone in behind me but that's what they do. He's coming left at that slip road. I'm going to go straight on. <coughs> 60 road still. It's coming into an 80. I'm going to keep left. Unless overtaking, which is the done thing. The guy in the... Behind me has gone right to the outside lane. As the guy is behind him as well. For no reason whatsoever. I'm going to stick with this, it is in fact an 80 road and I've got a good view of the road, my danger is minimal here, just going to keep an eye on what's happening behind me, I'm in top gear, 
Now my local knowledge tells me that I'm about half a K I've got a slip road to my left. I'm going to start moving out because it's busy period. There's a very high, high chance that there's somebody coming out. There is, I can see somebody coming out. There's nobody behind him. There is a little bit way back. But I'm going to move out anyway. Because he's catching me up, he's speeding up. And he's going to want that left hand lane. So I'm going to move out and give him that space. Until I get a bit further. I'm going to move out again. Because there's a traffic hazard to my left, which is a a sign and a metal plate it's not much of a hazard is it they slowed the speed limits down for a metal plate in the road back to 80 here we go watching this guy at that point i'm actually going to hold my i've got another slip road coming up you can see this junction above this road that means there's a slip road beyond it and there's a high chance that anything coming down that slip road is going to affect this lot of traffic coming across me so I'm going to stay out because they're going to come out, you'd hope. Blind spot, not quite, but as I'm coming off that 80 into the 60, I'll have a glance, there's nothing much happening there. That is a blind spot for this truck as well. So I'll drop back again into the 60 zone, I'm doing 50 here. good gap now I've got traffic lights which are likely to turn to red I've got a good gap between me and the car behind so if it does I'm comfortable to stop I've got cars in my left left lane that merges that pushes cars out to the right here look so that white sprinter there moved out which was all right I left him a gap so he could do it at this point I'm a little bit restricted on my view of the road because of the black tinted windows so I drop back and just ease out a little bit I can see now I can see braking traffic up front and I can also see a white van wanting to turn right into that lane so I'm going to protect myself a little bit by moving across here there he is and at this point I can see backed up traffic again and I've got a decent gap between the car behind me and me and at this point I'm controlling that spot. I'm going to do a little bit of this lane splitting. One thing to watch for when you're lane splitting is pedestrians poking their noses around the trucks that you can't see. And on there, and I'll move forward. I'm going to hold this lane here, they're turning right into that lane. So I'll hold this lane. The truck here is turning left, the yellow truck. Just beyond this junction is a slip road for traffic coming from my left to go onto this road here. That blue car is my point. In in the point there and you've got to watch for cars coming straight out so here we are middle lane into a 90 zone nobody behind me in my lane or the right hand lane behind me i've got slower moving vehicles on the left and i'm just going to ease past them i'm up to the speed limit top gear i'm in the habit of double checking me Indicators are cancelled. Something I just do every so often, I'll just flick it off just to make sure it isn't inadvertently being put on. You don't always get to see your green flashing light on your dashboard in sunlight that's bouncing around. So at this point, I've got a truck on my left and he's doing the right thing by staying left unless overtaking. Put on him, and I'm going to actually go right because I'm going to overtake. So I'm approximate speed limit, maybe five or six k's over at this point. I don't want to be in his blind spot and I don't want to be in her blind spot in that middle lane. They ought to be in the left hand lane, which is what I am wanting to do in a minute. I'll go across to the middle lane and I'm also going to go across now again to that left hand lane, which is where we should be. These clowns here just hogging the middle and outside lane. But at this point, I don't have to look over my left shoulder, see if there's a wall. I can see all the traffic behind me now. It's going to merge in about four or three, three or four hundred metres. 
And I'm going to have to just slightly ease back. I'm going to start indicating for any trucks and vehicles there. Now, my problem is I've got to make sure that he do not want to change lanes on my right. So I'm moving across now, which leads me a bit close to this Toyota. So I'll drop back just a little bit. We're into two lanes. So I've got a safe spot. I've got a good view of the road. And I spot a, a slip road to my left that's going to join me. So I have a cursory glance there, make sure there's nobody coming up. Another one. At this point now, I'm wanting the left hand lane. I'm not going to cut right across this left hand lane yet until I get beyond the fully beyond the slip road. Now I'm beyond it. I'll move across that way. Anybody's coming up that slip road, I'm, we're not joint. We're not. We're not clashing. At this point, I've got to make sure that this guy in this Corolla is actually going to go straight on. Is he going to change his mind? He's actually moved over, so I'm confident now that he's doing that. The truck behind got very close. I was watching him, but I'm doing 80, being pushed along a little bit by the guy. So I'm just backing him up a little bit. It's a 60 road now. And this then joins another road now, I found myself on a slip road. I can look down to my right, I can see traffic. I want to get up to speed, keep, get to the traffic flow speed. I've got a truck in the outside lane. There's this guy here is doing the speed limit but not moving out. He's got no idea I'm here. And I had an option there just to gas it and get on. He didn't think about moving out, he could have done. Just got to watch for people. I'm not having that knowledge that that's the thing to do. Am I safe here? Safe as houses at the moment. I've got a car behind a reasonable gap. I've controlled the space in front of me. I know that big truck to the side of him has seen me, so he knows I exist. This guy's seen me. They're bimbling past. But I'm in a safe position. I've got no risks there. Make sure this guy's not going to change his lane in front of me now and come off of the slip road. I'm going to stick with my speed limit. The guy behind me is coming off that slip road, so there's a bigger gap behind me. And again, there's nothing behind me now for some distance. I'm in these guys' blind spot. His mirror's not adjusted very well. I can't see his face at all. He should know I'm here. Now I can just see his chin. Now they're on the outside lane. I've got a slip road coming on in a second. I'm going 90 road. Quick cursory glance, nothing. He stayed in that outside lane. Plenty of viewage, and I'm moving out. Equalising that space out, let's get, get out a little bit there. There's no reason why this lot would change lane now. Just extra aware. It's quite windy, which affects the trucks as well. He appears to have his lights, I can't know, the brake lights stuck, I'm not so sure. Anyway, either or, we're good. I can see the road now. I'm at the speed limit. And the road ahead is clear and I'm safe. I've got a 60 road. I'm going to click across here. I've gone into a 60 zone. I didn't want to hit the brakes in the outside lane. I've got to protect myself. Just ease off into the 60 zone. The blue tipper truck's behind me now. I've got a brow. That's the reason it's a 60 zone. I'm going to just drop down to fourth, fourth gear. Scratch my nose. Over the brow. No standing traffic. Another slip road to my left. Quick cursory glance. Nothing coming. I'll stay in this lane. I don't need to move out for anybody. And I see traffic lights at red in the distance. I'm at the speed limit. I've got truck, two trucks in the left-hand lane, likely to move away slower. 
So I'm going to move out. Early brakes. Nothing behind me. The guy in the white ute has gone to the right-hand lane. Can't, can't lane split here because there's not enough space and it's of no value to me. Didn't race up and hit the brakes, just managed to bimble up without having to stop. This point, not a great deal of danger for me. I'm actually going to move across the left hand lane. White Ute behind now. I'm in control of my own environment. Just off centre to the left. Windy as. Now, I'm at the speed limit. This Ford Ute here seems content where he is. But he's below the speed limit and I'm catching him. Because of this Ute focus in front of him. I'm not going to undertake him. Don't need to. I'm going over the brow of a bridge and I can't see if there's any standing traffic I know there's traffic lights at the other side at another 300 or 400 metres and I've got brake lights on the truck in front which is giving me a clue them lights are at red however there's no traffic that's great so we'll bimble down there would be nothing to gain by racing over that bridge I've lost no time by just bimbling across early brake, back brake only truck behind is going into the left hand lane and turning left as is the white ute. I've got no danger from the rear. That clear way truck is the blue truck. Now he's coming up behind now. At that point I'm just, I am safe. Because he's got good brakes, he's on it. Car asleep in front of this truck in front, didn't move away. Clearly doing a bit of facebooking. Checks there to the left. smashing nice and smooth owning my bit of space in the road he's turning right sharply he's a delivery truck and he look at him he's going somewhere it's one thing I remember is that if they look like the delivery trucks the chances are they're going to be looking for somewhere give them a bit of space we're going right here back brake nice and smooth watch if it both directions all directions just because it's your right away doesn't mean there's nobody coming left indicator off the roundabout and away we go. Part cars but a nice wide road. I'm going to hold my best position out here. You get a good view of the road, a good view of junctions, a good view of people coming out. Roundabout coming up, mini roundabouts. Car's turning left in front of me. He's gone, ticked him off. Good luck to the right. Anybody coming up at speed? No. Glance left. We're good, we're safe. Like I said, don't just trust nobody's going to come out on you. Again, road ahead is clear. I have very little danger. I've got junctions left and right, but nobody in them. I know that because I'm sat in the middle of the road and I've got a good view. Approaching another roundabout, another miniature roundabout. I'm going to be going left there and signing off as I do. Indicate, then slow down. Rear brake, make sure that Merc's not going left. Right, sorry. We're good to go. Right, cheers gang. It's good to be back on the bike. Hope you're all well. See you soon.